Hello and welcome to tutorial 142 and a Gold Pass member asked me how you would go about creating a strategy where the uh, stop loss is based on the low of the entry bar and in fact what this little example does is it will use the low of the entry bar at the time that the entry is made and we'll see how that can affect things later on but here's a simple example we're buying uh, 301.350 and the low of this bar is 3011.50 and you'll see here that we are stopping out at the low of the entry bar 3011.50 so let me just show you how I've got this uh, this chart set up uh, the strategies properties for all and uh, in terms of looking inside bar back testing I've got that selected and I've got the resolution set to the tick level so let's have a look at program which is uh, quite simple the trade is being generated on an arbitrary basis if the upticks is greater than a user input which is this num up ticks I'm using the e-mini here and I've set that to 5000 and if that occurs then we buy the next bar and market now in terms of detecting the entry what we do we say if MP is one, MP incidentally is storing the market position, TT the total trades. If MP is one, i.e. we're in a position and, and then we have uh, two options, two or options. If the market position last bar was not equal to one or the uh, total trades has increased compared to the previous bar, then uh, we know we're in a position. And what we do is we store into this variable stop loss price change, the entry price minus the low so that is the entry price minus the low of the entry bar and then uh, lower down the program we're going to be using the set stop loss set stop loss has a couple of switches one of those switches is set stop contract which means we're basing it on a per contract basis rather than per position basis then what we're doing is we're setting the stop loss now the set stop loss does not just does not work on a price change it actually works on a dollar value so we need to multiply the stop loss price change by big point value so let's just look at that particular trade in detail and uh, oh let me just show you I've added a little bit of um, debugging print statements here and uh, the entry I know was uh, at 1333 on this particular date and uh, what we're doing here we're putting in the entry price and then for that uh, for that bar we're just printing all the way through the upticks etc so let me show you what that looks like for that bar let's go right to the top so you'll see that the upticks gradually increases and as we get to 5000 you'll see that we get into a trade. And I'm just slightly overshooting there. So um, you'll see that uh, uptix goes to 5002. Then we get into a trade 301350. And the lower that bar at that time is 301150. So that is the value that is going to be used for a stop. Now this is updated every tick of that bar. In this example, it doesn't necessarily need to be but uh, that's the way I've created the program and this might be useful in other circumstances and uh, go through that bar and uh, you'll see that for the rest of that bar that is being updated now what about the stop loss well let's put in the uh, the date of the stop loss and uh, we can do that here we know that's uh, 2036 on the 14th and I'm uh, just going to comment this out because so we don't need it for a moment so I'm just going to verify that okay so let's uh, let's look at the the bar and uh, you'll see that uh, to start with the market position is one and we're looking for a stop price of 301150 and uh, you'll see that the uh, the close 301175 to start with so let's just go through that and uh, see where market position becomes zero so there we have it uh, market position becomes zero there the stop price is 301.150 and that uh, that occurs when the price reaches that level and uh, as I uh, may have mentioned the the way that this works is that the stop price is held on the computer and trade station monitors that and then when it gets that level it sends a market order in other words if you lose uh, internet connection then you do not have a stop 
So let's look at uh, another example and uh, a little bit further along here on the, uh, the 15th. And you'll see in this case that we're entering and we're stop, the stop loss is occurring on the entry bar. So let's have a look at that bar in detail. And what I'm going to do is just modify these uh, debugging statements. So the time is 8.33 on the 15th. So let's verify that again and then we can look at that bar in detail. Okay, so let's uh, try and go through this. And uh, you'll see that uh, the upticks is lower than 5,000, so we're not long. Uh, if we just keep going through that, we'll get to a point where the upticks gets to 5,000 or above. Okay, so you'll see here it goes to upticks 5,006, at which point we uh, get into a trade at 3.019. So that uh, agrees here with the, uh, with the bar. And uh, at that point, the low is equal to 3.018.25. This then determines the stop price of 3.018.25. What happens now, though, is that the price eventually begins to go down until we hit that 3025. So it actually stops within the bar at what was the low when it entered. Now, you might not wish to do that. You might not wish to have this entry bar protection, in which case you would need to modify the program so that uh, perhaps you had another stop for the entry bar and the, uh, the low of the entry bar was then carried forward to future bars. Anyway, uh, I hope uh, you might find this useful. I'm going to make the code available to Gold Pass members if you, uh, you wish to uh, experiment with it and to, uh, to test it yourself or use it in other situations. Uh, if you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com and join there. Or uh, if you uh, would like to receive notifications of videos, then uh, please subscribe to this channel on YouTube. And also please email any questions that you have. Thank you. <music>